All right. Now, this is the part that students have a hard time in a regular classroom, not just doing this e-learning thing thanks to, you know, COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it. But it's coterminal angles of radians. Now, normally, in, like in the last time, we would add 360 degrees because it was in degrees. This time it's in radians. So we would have our normal thing right here. And then we would add 2 pi because that's what it is in radians. Now, this is where people get confused. All right. To actually do this on paper, you have to get a least common denominator. All right. Now, our least common denominator right here would be 18, which gives us 36 pi over 18. And students over and over, Mr. Jeffers, Mr. Jeffers, where does this come from? Where does this come from? Well, there's an easier way to do it, and I'm all about some easier way. All right. Now, what I would suggest is using the calculator. Okay, remember, it's a tool. All right, if you just say this right here, if I can write better, we have negative 25 over 18. If we just add 2 to it, just leave the pies off, okay, we're going to get the same thing. Okay, it's not really that bad, especially if you use a calculator, but... I show students both ways, and they're like, I don't understand, I don't understand. And I would have a thousand questions just on this part right here, and I'd have to take a couple of ibuprofen and move on. Okay. Now, we're going to do the same thing here. We're still just going to use the calculator because that's the easiest thing to do. All right, so if we have negative 7 over 9, and we just add 2, we will get 11 pi over 9. Now, you could get the common denominator. You know, common denominator is going to be 9, so this would be not, or 18 pi over 9. And we get the same thing. If I suggest you use the calculator, okay, it's your friend. Now, same thing if we're going the opposite direction. Okay, if we're trying to find the negative ones, well, we're going to have 5 pi over 7 minus 2 pi. Okay, we're subtracting this time. Again, use the calculator. 5 over 7 minus 2. All right. It will help us. We get negative 9 pi over 7. Okay. Now, this one right here may take us a little bit of time. See, that's a large denominator. It looks like we go around a couple of times. So we're going to subtract 2 pi, 31 over 5, minus 2. All right. That gives us 21 pi over 5. Still not negative. So we've got to subtract 2 again. All right, this gives us 11 pi over 5. Still not there. Subtract 2 pi again. Getting closer. We have 1 pi over 5 or pi over 5. We're going to subtract just one more time. Ha ha, and we get it. We get negative 9 pi over 5. Okay? Now, if you try to do it by paper and get in common denominators, some people have issues with fractions. I know 5 out of 4 people do. Just use your calculator. Please, please, please use your calculator. All right? Now, this is the next fun part. This is actually going to degrees to radians. This is probably some of the easiest stuff you'll ever do. Okay, and again, I suggest to use the calculator. I 
promise that's a U, even though it looks like an A. Okay. All right. So what we have to do here is we take our angle that we're given, and we just multiply it by pi over 180. So in this example, we have 40. Okay. Honestly, what I would do is I would say 40 over 180, and it will give you this 2 over 9, and then you put the pi back in. Okay. Uh, same thing here. I don't know why it says 250 and then 150. That's confusing. Okay. So we're going to mark this out. This, this may not be super great. All right. So we're going to say 250 over 180. All right. That reduces down to this 25 pi over 18. I don't know why that said 150. All right. Now, if we were doing this, some of these are going to be kind of easy. Some of them will reduce. Some of them won't. All right. Like, for instance, if I put 31 over 80, again, using your calculator, 31 over 180, and that's just it. It doesn't reduce, so we just stick the pot symbol right there. All right, 147 over 180. Now, 147 over 180, this does reduce to 49 over 60, but we got to put the pot right here. Okay, so 293 over 180, that's probably, nope, didn't reduce. 293 pi over 180, okay, 630 over 180, okay, so 630 over 180 does reduce, okay, this is 7 pi over 2, all right, moving on, 434 over 180, this actually does reduce, 217 pi over 90. Now, we're not going to do a coterminal angle. We're just going to leave this negative uh, because we can. Okay, so negative 225 over 180. And this gives us negative 5 pi over 4. Okay, again, use your calculator. It's your friend. It's a tool. I try to tell you all that in class. Okay, use the calculator, use the calculator. You can actually find links to calculators online that can reduce things for you. I know some of y'all's favorite thing to use is photo math. I said, only do that to check. Don't let that be your number one goal, okay? Just use it to check. All right, see you next time.